Jesus, hey Jesus, why do you love us like you do? Excuse me. 
Royal Detroit Kidold's birthplace of Motown. Techno. Lots of great jazz, blues, metal, punk. You name it. Oh, birthday. Iggy. Yeah, Iggy. Iggy and the Stooges started just a few miles from here. But Detroit has also produced some crafty music, right, Mother? Yeah, her. And they also have to take some responsibility for some high profile retarded rockers. Like these two guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know. You know. Now last time I was here, I was telling you that I was covering for my slacker son, Jesus, who would not show up at the second coming. And by the way, he's still afraid of humans. He wants no part of you people, and I don't blame him. You suck. So you got me instead. Now bow down and pray that I don't smite thee. <laughs> Gotta go on again. Don't be afraid, humans. You have done nothing wrong. Yet. And I haven't destroyed anything in... Well, not this week anyway. I, I haven't killed anybody this week. Liar. So we did get some mail. Thank you for the mail, people. The first one is from, uh, who is this? Tim. Yes, Tim in Minnesota. Minnesota? Minnesota, Mother T. Get your head out of the bottle and read a book. Geographical book. Okay. Okay. Tim is worried. Because he says, when I get tailgated, when I'm driving, I can't deal with it. It just pisses me off. That's what Tim said in his letter. So he says, God, can you help me? Of course I can help you. We just happened to be driving around hell yesterday. Did we, Mother T? Took a little ride. Me and Mother sitting in the back. Bob drives. We watch all the hilarious stuff that you people do when you're bubbling around in the street. But that's another story. Oh, my. Yeah. So Jackass was telling us, right? So I tell Bob, I said, Bob, pull over. Let that Jackass pass. <laughs> Bob pulls over. I roll down my window and I let loose with the <laughs> Oh yes. Who that motherfucker to bits? They'll uh, oh, <laughs> never do that again, eh, mother T. Okay. <laughs> oh my. You know, I know what you mean. No, Tim. I'm not recommending violence. That's my job. I'm the killer. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. But you, Tim, being a weak little piece of shit human with no powers, you should just let that jackass tailgater pass and leave it at that. Or take the fucking bus next time, right, Mother T? <laughs> to beat everyone to a pulp when things don't go their way. Where the tough guy jerks end up, Mother T? I'm going straight to yeah. hell. Oh, lost your cigarette. Oh, there it is. Let me put it back. Okay. Okay. Now this is our little segment where we send some atheists to burn in the fires of hell. Burn, baby, burn. That's right. <laughs> this month's unrepentant atheist scum. 
Hollywood stoner. <laughs> Seth Rogen. Yeah. yeah. Ugly. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sorry, people. This is the best picture we could find of Seth. You see, Seth has a condition called SRS. Slight Retardation Syndrome. An ailment all too common in the United States, especially in the place they call Hollywood. We think he may have contracted SRS from fellow stoner James Franco, but we're not sure because basically all his friends seem to have SRS. What can you do? It's a condition. Don't let his vacuum look fool you though, people. He is not quite as dumb as he looks. <laughs> and he is very approachable for a Hollywood star. A big Hollywood star you could call Seth Rogen. That Korean thing and everything. Now Seth, you should give me a call. We could work on a deal. I could possibly cure your SRS if you can repent stop denying my existence. But if you're busy, say, uh, maybe washing James Franco's hair on the weekend while Jonah Hill shoots some home movies of you too. <laughs> well, I understand. And in that case, where are we sending atheist boy lover Seth Rogen when he expires, Mother T? On straight to hell. Sorry, Seth. You had to give me a call. You would not do well in hell. You seem kind of <laughs> soft and mushy. Oh, my. And that's not just because you don't work out. He's a little fat boy, eh, Mother T? Yes. <laughs> could improve Seth's looks. Burn off some of that ugly, eh, Mother T? Relax. What you say, Bob? Bob's saying something. Meow. Oh, he wants to know... What's that? Meow. He wants to know, is this going to be another flood? Flood? Why do you think that, Bob? What's he saying? The new ark in Kentucky. Oh, apparently he saw an article yeah. in the kitty news. Somebody built an ark in Kentucky. <laughs> I did hear about this loser. Some Australian oh. jackass, right? No. I gave no orders to build a new ark. This is an outrage. Don't you think if there was going to be a flood, then I would know about it? Yes. There will be no flood mortals. Not in the plans. And I would know. I'm gone. If anybody's going to kill the planet, flood the people, and drown everybody, don't you think it would be me? God damn it. I'm the god here. I'll decide who lives and who dies. Not some Australian dumbass named... What's his name? Ham? I mean, seriously, come on. This guy has really taken some Christians for a ride, literally, in his new big boat. Can you believe this shit? Can you believe this shit? Can you believe this shit, Mother T? I can't believe it either. Ham? Ham is his name? Really, Bob? No. Ken Ham. Ken Ham? Ken Ham. Is he 
related to John Hamm? No. 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 Of course she likes John Hamm. <laughs> Even nuns like John Hamm. Yes. What's <laughs> it on the tree? Pork. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I got a poem for you. I just made it up in my head about this Mr. Ham. Okay, you ready? Mr. Ham has developed a skin. He made a big old boat. But it don't even float. He's a whore for the Christian buck. And that's what makes him suck. Well, Mr. Ham, enjoy your stolen gold from your Christians. But someday you will mold and get very cold. Let's fry the pork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to cook some ham, all right. We did pretty good today. We cooked some ham. We smoked a robin. Yeah, the fat little roll that we roasted him on the spit. All in all, I'd say a tasty day. A tasty day. You know I love the pork, right? I like the sausage. Oh, mother tea. Mother tea. Getting a little pornographic here. Whatever. I want all you disgusting humans to know that since our last show, 41,618 people have been murdered in 30 days. 41,000. That works out to about half a million a year. Half a million a year. Half a billion a year. That's how many people are getting murdered. 2,000 people every day, day after day. I just wanted to remind you assholes what you're doing on my planet. Relax. And you label me a mass murderer. Me. You people are pathetic. You disgust me. Just remember, I can end this little party anytime I want. You idiots are giving me plenty of reasons to fry your asses. Hey, I got a little gift. I got a little gift from some of the other gods. Uh, other gods? What? You thought I was the only one? They're so gullible. They think I'm the only god in the universe. There are plenty of other gods. Well, they all chipped in for my birthday. How old are you? Well, I'm about 13 or 14 trillion years anyway. I don't know. Anyway, this is what they sent me. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Time for your medication. Okay. I'm done with you mortals. I mean inferior mortals. Be gone, you losers. You make me want to puke. Say goodbye, Mother T. Say goodbye to the oh, idiots. Oh, yes. Yes. Bob. Yes. Where's Bob? Bob, good kitty Bob, you didn't attack me today, come on up here and see me, come on, yeah that's a good kitty, you didn't attack me today, what's wrong, what's wrong, Bob, you son of a bitch, Bob, get off me, get off me, okay, that's enough of that, I gotta get back to some, Good stuff, other than talking to you losers. So come on back next time. Send more mail, losers. Oh, I guess I gotta light it first. Oh. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here.